There is life on Mars. NASA deployed a car-sized robot to explore the Jezero crater on Mars in order to learn more about it. This robot is known as Perseverance or Percy by those who work on the space station. One of the experts said more evidence means perseverance with seeing some really interesting scientific results very, very tantalizing. In an effort to address the age-old query, is there life on Mars? It has been traversing the planet for about a year and a half, gathering samples from it and returning images to the hub. What makes you think it's feasible? Do we have something in sight that proves this right? You will get to know this and plenty more as we dive into the details of today's show. However, before getting started with the video officially, here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. People say the darndest things, but you'd expect something coming from a scientist to be supported by facts and thorough research. We all agree that it's possible for people from Mars to exist. But what exactly makes them assume that there are people, aliens, or other creatures living on Mars? The solution is water. The element that enables life on Earth was discovered on Mars. This led astrobiologists to hypothesize that if water was to sped up Earth's planetary revolutions, and may be able to do the same for our Milky Way neighbor. NASA's 2020 mission to Mars may have had multiple objectives, including gathering geosamples and examining the topography of the planet. However, the primary objective of the robot journey was to ascertain whether life ever existed on Mars, or is it still present there? Where specialists believed there once was water was the best spot to look, it stands to reason that the majority of people would have resided near a lake or other body of water. Since the enormous clay crater was thought to have been once a lake, the Jezero, which is in Scandinavian means water, was chosen as Perseverance's landing site in 2021. The landing place was renamed the Octavia E. Butler Landing Site in honor of the late African-American science fiction novelist after Percy was able to land there in February 2021. The Jezero Crater is thought to have been home to Mars's longest river and a lake that has likely existed there for a very long period. Their calculations show that the red planet itself survived for a total of 4.6 billion years, much like Earth. This implies that there was or still is life on Mars, which is more intriguing possibility. By employing Raymond and Light, Sherlock searches for organics and toxins in areas where people reside. We'll continue to call him Sherlock, despite the fact that the spectrometer is a tiny UV instrument. It was created especially for the mission to discover organic substances in the samples. It has been returning from Mars. NASA is concerned with biological matter since carbon-based materials can only be obtained from animal and plant waste that is decomposed. Percy has discovered organic materials while probing the 8 miles of the Jezero crater, mission planners informed us on September 15th. The rover had been collecting samples from various ridges surrounding the crater when it discovered that two samples from Skinner's Ridge and Wildcat Ridge contained the highest concentration of organic material ever discovered by a rover. According to the Sanundra Sharma, an instrument to scientists of the Perseverance mission, the high levels of organic debris were a hint of the project's objective was to search for life on Mars. Only 25 of the 43 sample tubes that Percy has should be stored. The biological material is being held in the size of a vehicle of the rover. It will be transferred to the sample return lander and returned to Earth for further study by scientists. On this project, the European Space Agency ALH-84001 and NASA would collaborate. The persistence, although the discovery of organic matter by the Mars rovers was significant, it was not as significant as when researchers first postulated the existence of life on the Red Planet. In 1996, David McKay and his group claimed to have discovered evidence of life on Mars. The evidence they are referring to is a rock called ALH-84001 that was preserved safer than gold and being placed inside of a pillow. Scientists snowboarding in Antarctica discovered it, and McKay and his colleagues believed it to be a fragment of Mars that broke off, sailed through space, and settled there. The entire community was divided after McKay presented the space rock to the panel and requested them to discuss whether or not Mars had life. Both the average individual and McKay's fellow specialists had reservations. For instance, William Shupp believed that people were making too much of a basic rock and claimed that the discovery of organic materials on Mars was a discovery rather than evidence of the presence of life. 75-25% to of today's scientists, the general consensus is that life existed on Mars before the Jezero crater dried up. 
most likely 3.6 billion years ago. A small percentage of people believe that life exists on Earth, and there may be an even smaller percentage, perhaps in the single digits, who believes that life never existed on Mars. Percy is looking for these people with its cameras, microphones, and samplers. The purpose of the rover is to record frequency waves, look for oxygen, and collect more than 43 samples of Martian material. In February 2021, Percy traveled to Mars with a smaller drone by the name of Ingenuity. With 29 orbits completed, Ingenuity has been designed to collect samples and data from the planet's atmosphere. Although not by much, it holds the record for the longest flight on Mars. What would occur if Percy discovered life on Mars? So far we've discussed the car-sized rover, the equipment it needs to function, and the highly anticipated space rocks. We must state the obvious if we told anyone, pretty much anyone, that the Mars robot discovers signs of possible life on Mars, people would probably believe us. It would seem more intriguing to them than discovering biological material on rocks next to the dried up hole. To make this seem less like a science fiction tale about Martians occupying Earth and more like what actually occurred, let's assume that tomorrow has already passed and that the persistence robot has discovered a real person on Mars. We'll pretend that the proof was a Martian fossil. After the initial shock wears off, space agencies will need to make some difficult decisions and discuss issues that have not yet been researched. What does this signify for Earth would be the first thought that would cross your mind. The Mars 2020 project's search for life indicates that there is or was life elsewhere in the universe, and it's possible that there are individuals like us who live on other planets and have distinct lifestyles and means of survival from those on Earth. However, if there is or was life on Mars, it raises the question of where it originated. First off, this has already been discussed extensively. According to science, all life began with a single-celled organism that evolved into multicellular ones and began the process of evolution. On Mars, life would have begun in the same manner, but the life had existed there before it did here. This can't also imply that life on Earth began when a second rock from Mars struck the planet, bringing with it organic material that turned single-celled organisms into multicellular ones, allowing life to begin here. On the other hand, it might also imply the opposite, but Mars is probably where life first started based on what Percy has observed, such as craters, fields, and the general shape of the world without life. Can people live there? Elon Musk is a multi-billionaire businessman who is constantly engaged in activities that the majority of people would associate with a bored rich man looking for a pastime. Because of how frequently he tweets, many are unsure of whether or not to take him seriously. However, if Musk hadn't been a revolutionary or an odd one at that, he wouldn't be where he is now. Because Percy discovered that there may be life on Mars, it is possible that there is life on the Red Planet. When this was brought up in 1996, the millionaire was sufficiently inspired to found SpaceX to produce items for space. The 2002 company's ultimate goal is to establish a permanent base on Mars. People have been registering in order to be among the first to live on the planet and perhaps profit in some way. However, according to scientists, people shouldn't stay there indefinitely. What the heck? Even if life existed on Mars, it wouldn't be enough to convince people to abandon Earth. Mars represents the process by which a world perishes once it runs out of water and can't support as much life as Earth does. Additionally, the planet's geography and atmosphere make it hard for humans to live there because they require air and water to survive. These factors could be to blame for this. Additionally, if humans ever traveled to Mars, they would not be able to survive due to the extreme cosmic radiation there. This throws off the entire plot of the 2015 film The Martian, what a Martian appears to be. Despite the fact that everyone has a peculiar conception of what a Martian may look like, the majority of people appear to believe that they are elderly, wrinkly, and have bug-eyed eyes. What if there were Martians? Is it a hypothetical question that is less founded on reality as it is on the idea that it would make for excellent Hollywood shock value? What would they look like? Since we don't know what genetic factors may have contributed, we'll use environmental factors to support this claim and how much you move and what you eat affects how tall you are. They would likely much be larger than people. Martians who most likely roamed their planet in search of food and fought among themselves for what we might assume was a meager amount of food would have been tall. It is questionable that they would appear like prunes and have wrinkles. Even though most people imagine Mars to be a desert, it is actually cooler than Earth and is located 222 billion kilometers from the Sun 
as opposed to Earth's 148 billion kilometers. Without hair, Martians would likely freeze to death, and their environment wouldn't have been able to support their existence in the first place. The high radiation may have caused them to lose their sight or move their orbit into a safer one, since the bug eye problem is still being discussed. If a genuine Martian ever blocks Percy's path, we'll only be able to tell. The car-sized Mars rover Perseverance will join a lengthy line of rovers that will search for evidence of life on Mars as part of NASA's Mars 2020 program. By being able to gather biological material from the Jezero crater surface so far, the rover has demonstrated that it is worthwhile to put effort into. Does this convince you that there could be life on Mars? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos to you. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.